Hello everybody, it's me. I'm, I'm in need of a toothbrush holder. That's why the toothbrushes are over here on my metal, I think it's a, called an anvil. I'm not sure, but that's okay. Let's see, I sketched up somewhat of what I would like it to look like, or at least have an idea of what I want. So here's my wire. And then I'm going to use um, a twig from the tree. It's, it's been aged already, it's fallen. I, and here's another wire, another twig, and another wire. And then here I'm going to try to take that same wire and twist it so that the toothbrush can fit in it. And then we're going to connect them somewhere. I'm not sure where. Uh, it's as all. And here's the bottom. As always, I'm freehanding and freeforming, but this time with somewhat of an idea. So, not sure if I'm even going to use this, but I brought it out because I needed to do bring it out now. Then I have these twigs here. I have the toothbrushes so I can measure them. As long as it doesn't have to be the same size as this, as long as it goes through, right? It can hold there. But then again, I always buy toothbrushes and I never know the shape of the toothbrush. But mainly, I want as long as the head doesn't fall through. So, and the reason I'm making it myself is because I can't afford to buy a toothbrush holder that I actually like. I've had the plastic ones and I'm never happy with the plastic ones. I want a fancy one, so why not make something that I really, really like? Okay, so I have cutters, some cutters, some round nose pliers, two hammers, and my wire. It's very, very thick wire. This is not the spool for the wire. This is a ribbon spool. I want to say it's maybe like a 16 gauge. Uh, let's see, does it, I'm not sure if the gauge goes up the smaller. I'm not even sure. Let me see. That's, yeah, I think it, it's a 16 gauge. And then I have here something like maybe something like a 20 gauge. Then I have some scotch tape. Will I use everything that I have out? I don't know. So let's start with the wire. And I kind of want it the size that I drew out. So I'm going to use it somewhat of a reference. And since I need to twirl this, I will leave myself that much space for twirling. And then that much space for the middle, but then I'm going to spin it off here, so I'm going to need a little extra. So I'm going to say right about here. Let me cut that. I'm going to use something thicker to cut it, and then I'm going to cut three of them. Four would be good, but I don't want to use four. I want to use three. There's three of us anyways. Now if I need to cut a cut it smaller, I'll do that too. But I'd rather have extra whoop than not enough. Now I don't mind it tarnishing. I like when copper tarnishes, especially in jewelry. I love that. They're not exact, but I'm okay with that. this over here so I can just look at it. I was just going to ask you guys if you wanted me to get closer, but that's usually what I do when I'm in live. But I'm not live today. So I think I'll start with the twisting of the wire up on top. You don't need any of these special tools. I once worked without special tools and I just figured it out. So let me get you closer though. The problem with getting closer is sometimes I get off of the camera. So I'm going to start off the tip. 
and then let it do the twist basically organically. And then I'm just going to do it with my hands now. If I want more twist, I'll come back and twist. And then I'm going to twist the bottom. Am I still on camera? Yes. Funny thing, you guys want to laugh. <laughs> Get a good laugh, I don't mind. I went outside tonight. It is uh, um, August 29th. 2015 because this video will, video will be up for as long as YouTube will have me. Went outside to pick these twigs and I didn't take a flashlight. The moon was strong enough so I was just picking up twigs. Some of those are from my either avocado tree or lemon tree. And um, I guess I picked up a hard piece of poop. Looked like some kind of kitty poop. Can't be honey's poop because honey doesn't go outside anymore honey's inside which I will update you guys with honey soon okay so picked up poop put everything in a basket didn't know I picked up poop till I came inside then I'm going through my twigs that I picked up that the moon helped me pick up and there was a piece of poop in there with a lot of other things like dirt and leaves <laughs> That's hilarious, and I took the, grabbed a piece, a leaf, and used it to pick up the poop and throw it in the toilet. Yep. No big deal, though. Okay, so we got two pieces. I'm hoping that I will fall in love with this piece, and I'm hoping that it will be one of those where I'm very very happy with and something that I would have purchased if I had the moolah to purchase and that you know I'm gonna I am just want to warn people I am gonna chitter chatter uh, most of my subscribers um, love when I talk and I love talking um, what I was going to say, and the reason I said that is because there are some people that leave nasty comments telling me why do I talk so much. Anyways, uh, what was I going to say? Let's do the middle twist now. And I'm going to grab one of the toothbrushes. Find my middle. And... Oh, I was going to say, so you see I'm just going like that, then I'm just going to cross them. And I think that's good enough, let's see, as long as I can just pop it in, yep. I was going to say that, uh, and then when I want to straighten it out like that these are going to go against the wall so they need to be sideways. That's what inspires me the most and has always inspired me and that's how I've gotten into doing art is by needing something. Either my kids need it or my, my home needed it. Later I can come twist this whichever way I want. And so by having the need I always made things. So I'm going to have the twig in the middle, so that gives me space. So one toothbrush here, and that's going to go there. It's going to go forward. I don't want the toothbrushes touching much, so let me straighten this one out a little. Where's the other toothbrush? Did you guys take my toothbrush? There it is. It's going to go there. And I don't want the heads touching. So let's make that one the middle. And I'm 
thinking right here. I'm just freeforming it, guys. So having the need of something is what inspires my brain to say, okay, let's just make it. I'm going to keep the toothbrush on this one and twist. and then I'm just pushing down on my mat and then one more crossing over and then I'm going to twist What went wrong? Something went wrong. Okay. Put it down. Push it down to the mat. So. Needs to be smaller, it seems like I made that one too big. So let's try to undo it and start over. Very forgiving, and I used to have the plastic. Twi um, the pliers with the plastic coating, but I don't have those anymore. And I don't mind it being marred a little bit. Basically, the tool marring. I'm going to try my best to straighten it out as much as possible. No big deal. Let's try that again. Too snug. Now let's see. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to need to pound this one a little bit. <clears throat> and these video, this video and most videos of mine are pretty long because I do the real time ones. Okay, that's good enough. Tan meat. So I'm not sure if these are thickening enough. This one's sturdy. Oh, this one's sturdier. Okay. Now, is this one sturdy? Nope. This one's sturdier. Okay. So that goes there. wondering if they're going to be too close. Yeah, they are going to be too close. So I'm going to go into my basket of goodies and find the right size twig. This one. that one. So those are the only two big ones I have. I don't know if those are going to be too big, but we'll find out. Let's put those aside. Let's 
flip this this way. Let's flip this this way. And that'll connect there. And this one will go up some. And this one's way thicker. This is going to get in the way. So I'm going to have to chop it away. I can do it like that or I can, let's see, what if I cut, cut it. Well, I kind of like that, so let's just do that. So now I'm going to grab my wire. And I'm going to try my best to wire these together. Actually, I might need the tape. So let's see if we can get the tape to hold these in place while I work. So I like the way this one fits there. get you guys in some. And I'm just going to use the tape to hold. Oh, there's a little splinter there. I didn't see it earlier. I'm going to take that splinter out. And I fill another one here. So this, this is just going to help me hold the wire in place while we wire them together. And I'm going to need another piece. Probably need a few pieces, so I'll just have some ready right here. How is this going to go on the wall? I'm not too sure yet. I haven't thought that far. Put that there. I'm thinking either I put it on a plaque. The wood's kind of wet because I did wash the pieces of wood. Either I put it on a plaque. Somehow we'll figure it out after. I'm kind of wondering how I'm going to get this one attached to this one. Hmm. Didn't think that far either, but we're we're going to wing it one second, meaning let's just put the tape and figure that out after. Bring this forward. Put it there. I'm just happy we even got this far. All right. I'm 
I'm just thinking to myself at this point. I'm kind of thinking I want to put a fourth one in, in here. That little bump thing is kind of getting in the way. So, let me see what I can do about that little bump. Let's see if we can trim it away. I probably can sand it down, but I'm not going to do that right now. So let's see if we could just chip it away. Just so that the wire lays a little closer to this piece of wood. I am going to sand it down. I'll be back. Okay, we got it sanded down. Didn't take long at all. And I just used a, a nail file. A random nail file. And I just went at it. And it took less than 40 seconds. And then plus what I'm doing right here right now. Toss it to the floor. Just going to move it to the side. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, that's better. Much better. piece of tape. I looked on YouTube to see if anybody has made a wire toothbrush holder and I couldn't find anything to reference. So that we're winging it. I don't want it too close because I'm going to have the wire work in here. All right. What I could do is use a thinner gauge wire. use this purple. Okay. Let's see. Let's go through the middle. So I'm going to run one through here on this side and one through the other side never done this before guys so we're winging it with the technique and the what to do's okay so now that's there I want to go from one end to the next end like that And I kind of want to go around again. And 
and eventually it's going to become stronger so I'll be able to work a little freer. But it seems at the beginning that it's going to be a little tricky. Oh, the wire's bent. No wonder. Let's unbend it. Or cut it. Alright. Well. And when I get closer here, then I'm going to go in and out. You'll see right now. So to make sure that this loop here is not going to fall out, I'm going to Now I'm going to wing it this way again. This time I'm going to go in there and out. Right? Do the same to this one. Getting somewhere, folks. And I'm going to twist again. Go the opposite. Kind of want this, let's see, this one here to go above. Again, just going to go back around with both of them and come come out through the middle. And I'm going to run out of wire, and that's okay. trade them off. So this one's going to run out way before this one. So what I'm going to do is stick it through Try to go around this part right here. Without it looking messy. And throw it to the back. dog clawing at the door. I gotta go let her in. So I'll be right back. Okay, so as we work, guys, and uh, this one's I was mentioning was gonna run out, but I'm still gonna take advantage and use it up. And I'm just running it through. <clears throat> and then I'm going to run it back down. And back out. And 
Which one is this one? Same one, okay. Well, I broke some of it. I pulled it way too tight. And I'm going to take advantage and twist. I'm going to twist these, yeah. Just to tighten it up. And if it breaks, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to leave those like that. And let's start at the bottom now. This is fun. It's really nice to create your own things. You customize it, you could make it as pretty as you like. I'm going to give myself a little more than I did earlier. Hope I got, yeah, I did. Cool. I'm going to flip it around. And go in it like this on each end. Kind of like um, stitching, but with wire. Not going to pull too tight. And on the back, I'm going to crisscross. And for this one, I want to do a little bit different. I want to go into this wire here. Or two because I don't want it to go sliding around. So let's see. There we go. I'm going to come back and go in and out through the back. There we go. That's going to stay nice. Now I'm going to attempt to remember what I just did. Okay. What did I do with that one? This one will go this way. And in. In through here. Pulling tight. Alright, and then around. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. There we go. I'm trying to remember how I did the other one. Okay, we'll go in through this way. twist again. I mean, I'm going to cross it. And go in again on it, this end. And I'm basically just weaving. Flip it over. Same here before I forget. Here we go. Cross it over. Fall short again. 
and that's okay. Just gonna crisscross, but I'm gonna pull it tight. Okay. So this part that I'm gonna fall short on, I'm just gonna call it um, done with that one wire. Secure it again. The back can be messy. There we go. Let's see if we can loosen the tape or take the tape off and see how tight this is. This will be where I will start checking to see what needs to be tightened, where I need to put more wire. That tape is on there. Wow, it's really holding in there. There we go. If I wanted the tape to stick, it wouldn't stick, and now it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> Silly tape. Wow, it's really not wanting to come off. And I don't have scissors. Let's see around me. Let's see if these will fit. Alright, now let's wiggle and see what needs to be placed where. It's actually pretty good. I can probably just go ahead and use up the wire that's left just to secure it a little bit extra.
can say we're done, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think I like it. I'm just going to secure it there. And then probably tuck it. And if it if it um, breaks, it's fine. I like it. Let's see if I can push it down and hide it somewhere. Now let's stick our toothbrushes in. Perfect. And the other toothbrush. Perfect. Let me go see if I can find the other toothbrush. I'll be right back. And I'm sure I'll get that comment that I wasted time going to go get that toothbrush, but that's okay. This one's having a hard time. Is this bigger? Yeah. Okay. Any of these other holes bigger? Let's see. Let's force it because... Actually, let's manipulate it a bit. The wire. Just so that it's easier to go through. So I'm going to push down, there we go, still a little stuck, I don't want it to be that stuck. That's perfectly fine. Even, like I mentioned, even though um, it falls through right there, it's perfectly fine. Oh, now it goes through. Okay. Well, at least, at least the heads aren't touching. So we're good. We're perfectly good. There we go. I need to manipulate that a little. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, there we go. It's perfectly fine. Once it gets into the wall, it goes in just fine. It moves a little, so let me check that. Let's see what we can do. The middle one doesn't move at all. This one moves a little bit. But that's okay. It's perfectly okay. And I like the way they're twisted and I'll figure out how to hang it. I'll probably add something here to hang it. And that's my new toothbrush holder. Thanks for watching guys and the fund me is right there. If you'd like to fund me, a dollar helps. And I appreciate you guys. Love all of you guys. And thank you.